Hey everyone, so this question is check permutation. It's question 1.2. And what we want to do here is given two strings, we want to write a method to decide if, a, if one of these strings is a permutation of the other. And so this example um, that I provided here is just my name. And then we have like a rearranged version of my name here, just McClenack Nerder. Um, you know, like that would be a permutation of this one, a permutation is just like a variation or a, you know, it's using the same letters, we just switched up the ordering of it. And so if this was, you know, we had a B here, well, this one doesn't contain a B and they have different lengths, so they can't be a permutation of the other. Um, but say if we switched, you know, A and N here, that's still permutation of the other because we just switched up the ordering um, of these letters. So let's go on and create this. The first test case that we want to check for this method is simply whether or not they have the same lengths. So if the first and second strings um, don't equal each other, then we can automatically just return false because naturally, you know, they can't be a permutation. They have different lengths. One has one character that the other wouldn't have. So we return false. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to create an integer direct access array. We'll call it character set equals new int. And we're going to change it to a size of 128. And this is a little trick that we had for the previous question. And what we're supposed to do here is ask your interviewer what character set you're dealing with. So whether it's Unicode or ASCII or ASCII extended. Um, and in this case, we're supposing that the interviewer replies back, we're using the ASCII character set, and that has a length of 128 characters. So what we're gonna do with this character set is we're gonna iterate through the string um, while i is less than, and we're gonna do the first string string one dot length and so for each of these characters we're going to increment and basically set like the number of instances where we've seen this character so we can see that with character set so for character set string one at i so character at i and we're going to increment it by one. So I believe for the character A, like if we did character set at location A, this would be converted into an integer of, I think, 76. So this would be index 76 of this array. And then we would increment it by one, so that would then equal one, because we've seen it one time. And then, you know, when we get to this point, we see A again, it would then increment it to two and so forth. So we're basically keeping a count of the number of times each you know, character has occurred in the first string. So then we're going to create another loop and gonna do the same thing here. But now we're going to iterate through the second string. And then we're actually doing the opposite where we're now iterating through here and decrementing from the second string, character at i, minus minus. So we would go from here, we would index it into m, and it would go from we've seen it once to now zero. You know, it kind of increments it downwards. So we're kind of like almost unchecking them all. And so now what we're actually going to do is have a check here where if at this location, if it's less than zero, so it's negative, then we know that, okay, so say if we have the letter B here, because B was never incremented in this first loop, it would then be from zero to negative one. And so essentially then we know that, well, you know, since B was never incremented into the array, the first loop, then it shouldn't have been able to appear, you know, it didn't appear. But say we have three A's, I think, or four A's, because there's only three letter A's in my name, 
you know, it would increment um, character set, you know, at A. Um, at the end of this loop, it would equal three here. But while we're iterating through the second string, since this has four A's, it would then go down to two, then one, and then ultimately negative one. So we know that, okay, like this string has more A's than the original string has. So then we can automatically return false here. And then finally, the last check we need to do is we just return true if it was able to make it through the entirety of the second string and not get one single uh, negative index in our character set array. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And I think, oh, I just forgot to say string two on line 19. Or string, yeah, string two. Great, and so we got false because, you know, we don't have, you know, four, we have four letter A's in the second string. So we can run this again, and we have true. So the time complexity for this is just O of N, because we iterate N times um, in the first loop, and then N times in the second, which is therefore, you know, O of N. And that's just a function of the, the length of the string, and, you know, they have to be equal lengths for this to go through those loops. And then the space complexity is O of one, and that's because our array that we're using, this character set, isn't a function of the string's length. It's not a function of the input size. And so it's just a static 128 um, character array. So great, I hope that helped and have a great day.